Now that we've converted your pre-existing hardwired pedal board into wireless, we now turn to the Stage Pro 8 wireless pedal board. Keep in mind, these pedal boards can be positioned anywhere up to 275 feet in wireless range in a 360 degree operational radius with as many as you would like. The Stage Pro 8 offers three different types of modes, toggle mode, patch mode, and momentary mode. All of these dip switches indicate your position of how you would like to control your effects pedals. Now, toggle mode acts as a pre-existing effects pedal on, off. Patch mode has allowed you to group pedals together that you would normally not have in your pre-existing chain. So A, B, and C, you want them all on at the same time, you can now control it all at the same time wirelessly with one press of a button. Momentary indicates just simply press on and when you're done using that channel, let off and it disappears. So, as you can see, I now have my pre-existing pedals and my dip switches the way that I want to. I've got a couple of them set to toggle mode, one set to momentary mode, and then the other set to patch. Make sure your dip switches are in the straight indication arrows listed below. Indicate the green light where you have power on. Simply hold the serial for roughly about 10 seconds. As you can see, both lights will light up, the green light will disappear, the red light will hard min, and then once it does so, you let go of the button, it pulsates the screen, and now you're in patch mode. There's two types of ways to patch program on the Stage Pro 8. The system allows you to indicate what channel you would like and the groupings you would like to use. Also, it allows you to choose the channel and bypass what is on that original channel and or use what's on that channel, however way you would like to do it. So we're going to do it both ways. The first way is I'm going to utilize channel 2. For example, I'm going to take what's on channel 2's effects pedals and bridge it with something else that I would like to use. Now that we're in patch mode, simply number 2 indicates one blue link now it says we're going to use channel 2. I want to use what's on channel 2, so I push it again, and now we're activated. I'm going to bridge it with what's on channel 4. Okay? Now this is my patch. Turn the system around, hit the serial, green light comes on. I just went from pressing two buttons, two effects pedals, now to one. The flash blinking indication light tells the user that we are on channel 2 and we are also on channel 4 and both are active together. When you are done, hit channel 2 and now you're running clean in. Now, we patched in, we're playing, we have 2 and 4 on and I want to bring in a lead, I want to bring in a chorus, I want to bring in a phaser but I don't want it to stay on all the time so now I go over to my momentary previously set up dip switch. Channel 1, on, off, phaser in, lead in, chorus on, now I'm done. I want to go ahead and bring in something a little different like an octave or a verb or whatever you would like, maybe a little distortion. So number 3 is set to toggle mode, standard effects pedal on and off. Turn it on and now it's linked through your chain. Again, the Stage Pro 8 is wireless true bypass analog. It does not touch or color your tone, we're simply allowing the user to say I need it, I want it, and when they want it, when they need it the most. Off on toggle, off on patch. Now, secondary patch capabilities. Back to the serial, hold it for 10 seconds, just about. Wait for that green light to disappear, the red light to hardman. Once it does, release, indication that you are now in patch program mode again. Make sure the dip switches are set. Now. I want to use channel 4 as a patch, but I do not want to use what is on channel 4. So I'm going to say channel 4, but I want channel 2, and I want to switch clean on my head. Turn it around, serial, wait for the green light. So now here's your setup. Patch 1, hard blink utilizing both channels. Turn off. Secondary patch indicates a low blink light. We're saying that we are on channel 4 for a patch. 
We're not utilizing what is on channel four. We're bypassing. We're utilizing what is on channel two. And we just switched your head. Now, if you want to get away from many more steps and taps, simply press another button. I just cleared that original patch and now I'm back to playing on my secondary patch. You're allowed seven patches for the Stage Pro 8 system. You want to bring in your momentary, you want to switch on this, switch on this, control your tap tempos with your even tides, digital delays, looper pedals, and then turn everything off, mute your system for tuning, and you're ready to go. Now, our users are also available to have our wireless body pack effects controllers. These controllers have the same dip switch capabilities as the pedal boards. All the artists out there that have go-to guitars, basses, or any stringed instruments that have different tunings and different back lines enables them to pick which effects pedals are their go-to effects per that stringed instrument when they want it and when they need it. So it's not all the same. We made it very universal for the users. Make sure the dip switches are set as the same as the pedal boards. If you have any technical errors, feel free to call. Once you have it preset, make sure that it's on. Green activation light's on. And you are now free to roam around the stage. Control all of your effects by your fingertips. Mute your system. Momentary. Patch number four. And bypass it all. Now you've learned how to patch program and set momentary and toggle switching to your body pack and pedal board.